Hey guys, it's Misty and I'm with Misty Nicole Atlanta and I wanted to bring you four very specific tips that is going to improve how you are styling your hair to give you the exact result you're trying to achieve. So if that sounds like that's for you, stay tuned, watch this video and let's get started. The first tip I wanna share with you is absolutely 100% you need to invest in some good clips, okay? You can get these inexpensively at any of your beauty supplies. You typically get between four and six clips that are about, you know, eight or nine dollars, not much. Do get the, the better quality rather than the cheaper plastic. You'll definitely be able to tell. The, the better quality tends to have almost a rubbery-like feel and the cheaper quality is very plasticky because of these, if you step on them, Nine times out of ten, you're not going to break them unless you step on them a bunch of times. But the really cheap ones, they break pretty easy, especially where it clamps, okay? The next tip I want to talk to you is you have to use a holding product, a memory product. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that when I'm talking about this, we are specifically, uh-oh, sorry, we are specifically talking about what you prep your hair before you blow it dry. And you say, well, what if I air dry? Honey, your hair is not going to hold nothing because it's silky and it has dried. I promise you, it needs to have a product that has got volume or hold. So mousse, volumizing lotions, a lot of volumizing products are really going to work best in this situation because they do not contain as many hydrating ingredients, okay? So, let's move on. The next thing you want to do is once you prep your hair your, with your memory product, you want to blow it dry, okay? If you want to braid it and then go to bed and get up and do these hot tools the next day, that's fine. But you're going to be able to use this with your flat iron, your curling iron, your hot rollers. I'm, today, I'm using the InStyle Clips that my friend gave me, Miss Melanie. And I'm teaching you how to achieve the result you're trying to achieve. So I want you to think about something. If you have, you know, when you touch the, the head, you if you've watched any of my videos, I talk about the roundness or the curve of the head. Anything above that curve will create volume. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Anything through this section will create width, and anything below that is going to all hang at the bottom. And I'm gonna show you how you wrap, and that's gonna determine how you achieve that result, okay? So let's start with our sections first. Just do four sections. If you, you part it how you wanna part it, but make sure that when you go to do your sections, like your little subsections, we call them, um, you want to make sure you're not using anything bigger than the tool you're using. So, for instance, if I were using a flat iron, I don't want to put more hair in it than the, the roundness of this end. I hope that makes sense. Curling iron, same thing. <clears throat> Otherwise, your hair will fall. It will not take because it's too much hair, okay? So you're gonna take your subsection. So here's what I want you to think about. If you have a rounder face, more like mine, or like a really square jawline, your goal is to create length, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna focus the next step I'm gonna show you in this area. That's gonna be where your key work is. If you are someone who has a very long face, you need to create width. So you're gonna focus on another section in this area. This is where you're gonna use these three little things that I'm gonna show you. And then if you have maybe say, uh, you want fullness and body or you have a face shape where you're trying to create, like I'm trying to think of one in particular, an uh, inverted triangle, that means, hold on, let me get this for you. That means your forehead up here is the more fullness, and then when your cheek comes in, you're very narrow. So you're gonna be one that wants to create all your curl at the bottom, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our subsection, and today, like I said, I'm using these install rollers, but I wanna show you something. So if you're trying to create for roundness up top, 
fullness on the sides or fullness at the bottom. You want maximum volume from your section in that area. So if I'm round, I'm gonna follow step one in the top of my head. If I'm more full, like a square shape, or I'm sorry, where I need more fullness at the cheeks, maybe I'm, you know, trying to think what face shape I said earlier. And then um, you wanna use maximum volume in this section. So feel the curve of the, your head from there to your ear is where you want to roll with this tip I'm about to show you. And if you have a face shape where you're an inverted triangle where your chin is more narrow, your jawline is more narrow than the top part of your head, you're gonna focus this through the bottom part of your hair. So like right here, okay? So what we're gonna do is whenever in hairdressing, this is like Beauty School 101. In hairdressing, we have something called on base, half off, or half on, whichever you want to call it, and off base, okay? We want to have our um, sections, and let me make sure I get that, okay? And we want to over direct, okay? Because when we roll this back, it's going to sit directly on base, okay? Which means, this is my base. If I roll way over here, that curl isn't gonna sit there, so it's gonna sit off base. If I go straight up and go down, okay, it's gonna sit half on, half off. If I go way over here and I roll it back, it's gonna sit directly on base. That's exactly what we're talking about, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to take your little hot roller, okay, ladies, wh whichever section you're trying to build the fullest part at, okay? We're gonna take our little section. You're either gonna wrap it around your curling iron, wrap it around your round brush, wrap it around your hot roller, whatever that is. And I'm using InStyler. And you are going to clamp that right on base, okay? I don't even know if these are hot enough yet, but we're going with it, okay? Because I'm teaching you guys. Okay, so let's move on to the next section. And you're gonna do that all the way through the top, again, if you're looking for round. What if I'm, you know, looking to create fullness here, right? Okay, so let's look at it. I'm gonna turn her away. Okay, we're gonna look at her side. Okay. So I have found the curve of her head, the edge of the curve. And I know that anywhere I place this, it is going to drop, okay? So what does that mean? If it's on the side of the head and I want the fullest part here, I need to do what? I need to over direct. So here's my section, okay? We're gonna take, we're gonna comb that up, right? Cause straight out from the head, let me get where you can see straight out from the head, that's gonna be half on, half off. If I go down here, it's off base, which means almost no volume. So if you really want that curl to come all the way up there, we're gonna direct that hair or our facial shapes that need more fullness right through here. We're gonna direct that over. I'm not even sure I turned these on, y'all. Well, hot dog got it. I thought I did. Well, you know what? I apologize. We're going to keep it moving, okay? So we're going to take and we're going to run that up, okay? Now, if I'm using, if I am using hot rollers, do you want all that curl to sit more towards the bottom? You want to start at the end and roll down. But if I want, say, on my curling iron, my flat iron, my heart rollers, whatever, I want to get that volume or that curl as close to the scalp as possible, I'm going to start mid-strand, okay? So I'm going to start mid-strand. Let me get where you can see me. Sorry, y'all. Try to get this where you can... Okay, sorry about that. All right, so again, here's my here's my base. I'm gonna over direct. I'm gonna get on this side so you can see. 
So if I want to create more curl closer to the head so that I create more fullness right here, I'm going to go over that midway section. I'm going to wrap those ends around. She's got some layers, so just bear with me. And then I'm going to roll that, again, it's over directed, and lay that right over. Okay, excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, so now what if we want more of our curl at the base? I'm gonna spin her back around. So what if we want more curl to create more fullness right here? So if, for you inverted triangles, okay, I want to start from the bottom, okay? Let's see if we can get this where you can see. So I'm not gonna elevate here, right? Because I want all my curl to sit down here and create that fullness. So I'm gonna go all the way down here, okay? Well, all right? And I'm gonna go all the way to the end of this strand and I'm going to wrap the hair all the way up. This is why if you're doing a curling iron and you run that curling iron all the way to the bottom, then you are going to lose, make sure we get that in there. You are going to lose all your curl at the top. You'll be like, why did it fall out? Okay, so that brings me to my next tip, okay? So whenever you have allowed your set to cool, whether it's a curling iron or a blow dryer or a flat iron, or I'm sorry, not blow dryer, hot, um, hot rollers, you have to allow that hair to fully cool off. If you're in a hurry, throw that cold button on your blow dryer, braise over it, but make sure, especially with your hot rollers, oh, maybe I did turn it on. <laughs> um, your hot rollers, make sure they have all the way cooled off, okay? The reason being is think of like a wrinkled t-shirt, okay? If you have a, a wrinkled t-shirt and you wad it up, what do we do? We can throw it in the dryer and that heat does what? It reshapes that t-shirt, which allows it to smooth out the wrinkles. And then we hang it up and let it cool so that it doesn't get any more wrinkles. But what would happen if we left it in the dryer? It's wrinkled again. Why? Because it cooled off in that molded shape. Your hair is the exact same way. So whenever you are curling, I want you to make sure this has cooled all the way off, okay? And then lastly, what you wanna do is you want to set any of your sets, so don't brush them out, okay? You're gonna use your fingers, okay? And you're gonna work and rake that through. If by chance, it's too tight while it's hot, give it a little tug, stretch it out. And then I want you to set that with hairspray and or like a dry texture spray. And I want to make sure that you do not just go and spray on top because you didn't make the hair inside get any holding product. So now our memory product is our prep product and our holding product is what's going to set your hairstyle. If you do all four of these tips, I can guarantee you your hairstyle will last much longer. Nine times out of 10, especially if you blow it dry, you can get your hairstyle sometimes to last up to five and seven days. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your week.